In today's video, I'm going to explain about the hydration enthalpy of the alkali metals. So what is this hydration enthalpy? It is the amount of energy released when one mole of alkali metal ion is hydrated. So let's see what will happen to the hydration enthalpy as we move from lithium plus to cesium plus. And for that, you have to know this one. First, consider a metal ion, alkali metal ion. Let's say that this one is hydrated, okay? So in such a case, you will get hydrated cation. This is your hydrated cation. Okay? Remember that smaller the cation more is the degree of hydration and more is the degree of hydration implies more is the hydration energy or hydration enthalpy And also, it implies more is the hydrated, more is the hydrated radii. But, less is the ionic conductance. Okay, so using this one, lithium plus, and then we have sodium plus. Lithium plus ion has more degree of hydration than sodium plus, than potassium plus, than rubidium plus, than cesium plus. And also, the hydration enthalpy in lithium plus is more than that in sodium plus, potassium plus, rubidium plus, and cesium plus. And among these, lithium plus has the largest hydrated radii while cesium plus has the what the smallest hydrated radii but now we say that less is the ionic conductance okay so in this case in this case the ionic conductance would be more in cesium plus and then it goes in this way This is in term of ionic conductance. Furthermore, we have here hydration enthalpy is always, as we move from lithium plus to cesium plus, hydration enthalpy will keep on decreasing. That means there is a negative sign, and the negative sign indicates that. The process is exothermic. Okay, so this is all about the hydration enthalpy. Whenever a metal ion, okay, that is an alkali metal ion, is hydrated, then an energy is released, and that is known as hydration energy or hydration enthalpy.